Hello everyone, this is going to be a guide on how to complete the Kali Linux Pulse Audio, no audio file found, or uh, no audio coming through on your uh, Kali Linux machine. Um, I found a few tutorials on this and they didn't really cover the topic uh, as well as I'd hoped, or they skipped over the part that actually worked for me. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a new updated tutorial on this. Um, first thing you want to do is install WSL. You can do that from your PowerShell. So from here, you're going to go to PowerShell. And we're going to type in uh, WSL dash dash install. I'll go and do it for you. Mine's not going to do anything. Ubuntu is already installed. Launching Ubuntu. We don't need to do that. Um, but once that's done, you should be good to go. After you've installed WSL, you're going to head over to your Microsoft store. And we're going to find Kali Linux and we're going to install Kali Linux and open it. Once open, you should be prompted to enter a new Unix username. Um, we'll just do a, a test environment one. So I'll take test uh, env. I can't do that. So we're just going to do test env. We'll make a little default uh, password here. So you should get this message, password updated successfully, installation successful. Um, it's a minimal installation of Kali. You can find out more uh, if you want to go this route and do some other install methods, make it more customizable, it's up to you. Uh, but from here, once Kali is installed, we want to make sure everything's updated, all of our packages are updated. So we're going to do sudo uh, apt update here. And it's basically going to run through and update all of our packages. But we'll give it a minute to do that. And now all of our packages are up to date. Um, next thing we want to do is um, install the Kali WinKex, which will just allow us to have a Kali uh, operating system on our Windows computer. We're going to do sudo apt install Kali WinKex. Just like that. Go ahead and run that. I say it needs about, I don't know, a couple gigabytes. Say yes. And this is really where the error actually happens in this install here. I don't know if it's just on a Windows 11 thing or, or what, but we were able to find the fix. So we'll let this run its course. And I'll probably see you guys in about a few minutes. But I came across this problem originally um, because I was just going through installing Kali on my own machine and noticed I wasn't getting any audio, went down the wormhole of trying a bunch of different solutions. Um, nothing really seemed to work until I uninstalled Kali, reinstalled it, and saw the error message right in front of you. So if I scroll up here, I think I saw one. Failed to send request, no such file directory. Fine. All right, so nothing yet. Let me see if I can. So you can see this, this error message right here where it says setting up Pulse Audio, uh, failed to send reload request, no such file directory, created sim link. So there's a system link here where they have the code for Pulse Audio and I need to take that code and put it into the pulseaudio.service file. And, um, in the Kali Linux environment itself. But now that our Kali Linux installed, let's go ahead and open it. 
we're going to type kex win space s. And beautiful, we're in Kali. So from here, if we s looked at that error message, there's going to be um, a system link between my file system underneath the uh, etc system md user default dot target dot wants and then pulse audio dot service. And there's also going to be the place that I need to bring it to, uh, which is u user library system md user pulse audio dot service. Um, so to navigate in here, we need to go ahead and open up our terminal. I'm going to type ls just so we can kind of see where we're at. We are at kind of the home version, but I need to get to the file system. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cd out of here. And then we can list from here. We have a test environment, which is uh, where I'm at. So we actually want to go back into home. So we're going to go cd. It's actually CD back out of here twice. So now we're at the root directory here. So this is actually where we need to be. We need to go into our uh, file system. So now that we're at our file system, which is just going to be basically a, a copy of everything that you see here. We want to navigate to where that error message told us to navigate to, which is going to be under etc system md user. So we're going to go into ETT, etc. And I'm going to do this on both sides, just so if you're kind of new at this, you can see it on, on both, both environments. So now we're in our etc, just like we are here. From there, we're going to go to system md. And that's just going to be here. And in system MD, we need to go into user. We're going to CD into user. User. And from here, um, after user, we're going to go to default target dot wants. Default.target.wants. Do that wrong. And then from here, we should be able to find our pulse audio service, right? Where the error message told us it would be. On the Pulse Audio service is the one we want to be looking at. Um, this is this is where it's pointing. So from here, if I open up the Pulse Audio service, I'll see all this code in here. Uh, it's nothing too crazy, but it is what the other side needs. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. And you can also notice that this is a read-only file. So what we need to do is um, sudo chmod our privileges and uh, make us have full access to this file. So to do that, what we're going to do is uh, sudo chmod 777. And that's going to be pulse audio. I don't think you necessarily need to do that with this file, but we will definitely need to do it with the other side of the file. I'll, I'll tell you what I mean by that. Perfect, now we have uh, full control over this file. 
There's no read-only uh, restriction on this. I can do whatever I want to this file. I can, I can screw it all up by deleting it and making sure we never have audio. Or I can go ahead and just copy all this out of here now. Uh, if you want, you can put it into a, a text file or something if you'd like. But I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. And then we need to find our target of where we actually need to paste this um, information. And that's going to be under user library system, system D user pulse audio dot service. So from here, we can CD back out of here. Uh, I think this is where I want to be. So let's uh, LS to see our options. It is. Actually, we need to go to user library. So a couple more back. Perfect. So from here, we can CD into USR. From USR, we can CD into uh, LIB. From LIB, we can CD into system D. And then we'll need um, CD into user and then pull audio service. And if I list my options here, we should be able to find pulse audio service right here. So this file here is also the file that we need to uh, edit and update our code in because it is completely empty. So from here, we'll uh, go back, back, back. We're going to go into uh, USR. Is that my too far? Here we go. Uh, we're going to go into USR, um, LIB, system D. And then from system D, we're going to go to user and then pulse audio service. And you can see the file here. So if your code here is empty, um, you have uh, failed install, copying files over, whatever. I don't know what happens at that install there, but if your code here is empty. You're going to want to um, take all of your code and replace it in here. Um, from here as well, you will also maybe need to chmod 777 pulse audio service. to make sure that you can edit and rewrite this file. So then we get the chmod777, so let's sudo that, sudo chmod777, pulseaudio.service. And that just updated all my permissions. So from here, I do have full access to this uh, system file file. Go ahead and take all your code that you have in the first set that we uh, had. And we're going to paste that in here. Once that's done, file save. And that should be your Pulse Audio fixed. You have any, uh, no audio issues in Kali Linux. Long story short, find your error code, find where those two files are saved, take the file from one, or take the code from one file, paste it to the other file, change your permissions if you need to with chmod777. That should wrap it up. That's all. Have a good day.